Have you ever walked through a field or garden and suddenly noticed a strange, towering mound in the dirt? What if I told you that this is not just a pile of soil, but the result of an incredible architectural feat performed by some of the tiniest engineers on earth, fire ants? These tiny creatures, barely visible to the naked eye, are master builders, capable of creating elaborate mounds that can last for years. Today, we're going to explore how fire ants build their mounds, step by step, and uncover the secrets behind their remarkable engineering skills. Before diving into the construction process, it's important to understand the workers behind the project. Fire ants are social insects that live in highly organized colonies, sometimes containing tens of thousands of ants. Each ant has a specific role, workers collect food, care for the queen and larvae, and, most importantly, construct and maintain the nest. Unlike solitary insects, fire ants work as a highly coordinated team, communicating with one another through pheromones, which are chemical signals that help them coordinate the building process without ever needing verbal instructions. The first step in mound construction begins with site selection. Fire ants are extremely strategic about where they build their nests. They prefer areas with well-drained soil to prevent flooding, and often choose sunny spots to regulate the temperature inside the mound. Once the site is chosen, scout ants begin exploring the area, marking the location with pheromone trails to guide the rest of the colony to the perfect building spot. Once the site is marked, the ants start digging. Fire ants excavate soil from underground tunnels and carry it to the surface. They use their strong mandibles to grip and move soil particles that can be several times their body weight. This soil is then deposited in small piles, gradually forming the base of the mound. Interestingly, the ants don't just dump soil randomly. They strategically place it to create tunnels and chambers that will eventually house the queen, eggs, larvae, and food stores. As more soil is brought to the surface, the mound begins to take shape. Fire ants are master sculptors. They layer the soil in a way that maximizes stability and airflow. The mound is often conical, which helps prevent erosion during heavy rain and allows for efficient temperature regulation inside. Some species even add plant materials, sand, or clay to reinforce the structure. The surface of the mound is meticulously smoothed, and any gaps or holes are sealed by ants working continuously. What's fascinating about fire ant mounds is that the beauty isn't just on the outside. Inside, the mound contains a network of tunnels, chambers, and galleries that provide ventilation, drainage, and protection. The ants carefully adjust the placement of soil to maintain airflow, ensuring the colony stays cool in summer and warm in winter. The design allows rainwater to flow away from the central chambers, preventing flooding and ensuring the queen and larvae are safe. A fire ant mound is never truly finished. Workers continuously maintain, expand, and repair the structure as the colony grows. If part of the mound is damaged by weather or humans, Ants quickly repair it by transporting more soil and reinforcing weak areas. Over time, some mounds can grow to over three feet in diameter and nearly a foot high, housing hundreds of thousands of ants. In conclusion, what might look like a simple pile of dirt is actually a marvel of natural engineering. Fire ants are tireless builders, engineers, and organizers, capable of creating structures that protect, ventilate, and support their massive colonies. The next time you see a mound in your garden or park, take a closer look. It's a living, breathing testament to teamwork, planning, and nature's ingenuity. Fire ants might be tiny, but their architectural skills are truly monumental. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing insights into the secret lives of insects. And tell us in the comments which insect engineering feat amazes you the most.